Grace, a first-year medical student at Monash University, Malaysia. Today, I would like to share with you a few apps that really made my medical studies a whole lot easier and tech that boosts your efficiency which saves you a couple of hours to chill and relax in a busy week of studies. Here's a disclaimer that this video is not sponsored. I provided timestamps down at the description below, so feel free to check it out. Here's the first question from one of my subscribers. Do you recommend any brand of laptops or iPads for medical students? Well, I recommend using either iPad Pro or iPad Air with the Apple Pen. It basically replaces all your physical notes, which saves your time, money and effort from printing them out. I have several friends who must have their notes printed out, and the notes from Sam one alone is like a whole box. If you put them in a file, I remember I saw it this thick. Besides, when I learn a new topic, I can either split screen on my iPad with one side streaming the lecture video, the other side with the lecture notes to scribble using the pen, or I could use my laptop for watching the lecture video while using my iPad to scribble notes along the way. Using the Apple Pen, I can draw nice and colorful diagrams easily in my notes without wasting any paper or ink, which is good for the environment too, right? I purchased this really cheap but good quality silicon iPad cover from Shopee so I can slot in my Apple Pen to take it with me wherever I go. This silicon Apple Pen sleeve also adds a good grip and personalization for my device, also available with a cheap and reasonable price at Shopee or Lazada. I used a laptop called Acer Spin 5 which has a touchscreen and a stylus pen. I have been using it for 3 years now. So far, the learning experience is quite good because I can also annotate easily on Zoom using the stylus pen. I see several of my friends using the MacBook too if you are considering about buying it. I like that it can enter sleep mode just like iPads so you don't have to waste time to power it on or shut down. If you worry about connectability, just use OneDrive to connect all your files across devices. The second question is, how much storage would you recommend for all those notes and lectures? Well, for storage, just use this app called OneDrive. It's free to download and they give you some free storage at first. But if you use your college or university email to log in, the storage is usually unlimited and you can link your stuff across devices without worrying about exceeding the limit. For me, both Sunway and Monash email addresses works. For example, when I download my lecture videos and slides, I will cut and paste my files into OneDrive on my File Explorer. I also downloaded and logged into the OneDrive app on my iPad like this. Back to my laptop. If this cycle icon turns into a green tick, it means that the file has been uploaded to its cloud server. So now you can open the same exact files across your laptop, MacBook, phone or iPad. Here's the third question. Do you have any advice on how you make notes or revise in medical school? Honestly, I don't really make very comprehensive or fancy notes. I am more of a lazy but practical person. So using OneNote really rescued me. I structured my notes according to subjects and topics like this. When I take my notes, I try to apply the active recall method by starting my entry with a question. So when I revise, I would look at the question first, think about the answer, and check if I got it right. Most of my notes are not complete because there is so much to study. I basically just copy-paste the info that I always forget. I will rewrite some important points using my own words or paste screenshots of must-know facts from the lecture notes and medical ebooks. Besides, I collaborated with my friends to make notes together using both OneNote and other apps like Notability. Each of us in charge of one subtopic every week. The team
team worked really eased our burden a whole lot and maybe you can try it with your own classmates too. I have a more in-depth video about how to use OneNote linked down below in the description. Feel free to check it out. Next question is, do you have any apps objections to help my studies in anatomy, biochemistry, physiology, etc? I subscribe to Osmosis and I find it super useful. Osmosis is an app specially developed for medical students. It consists of lecture videos, high yield notes, and flashcards categorized based on the exact topics that we learn. Their videos are not boring because they really drew the information out in a very cute and interesting way for us to grasp the concept. But honestly, the yearly subscription fees are quite expensive, so I only subscribe to them when they have half-price offers during Women's Day. Be sure to look out for their promotions on selected celebration days. For anatomy, I subscribe to this app called Complete Anatomy. I feel like it's a very good substitute for physical anatomy lab sessions. For example, if I want to take a look at the subscapularis muscle, I can just add the muscle layers to find it myself or use the search bar. They even provided comprehensive information about the attachments, movements, bone landmarks, and so on. If you want to take a look at the radial nerve, you can view the entire nerve in high resolution, zoom in or pan around however you like to. FYI, links to both Osmosis and Complete Anatomy are provided down at the description below. Lastly, if you are comfortable with online group studies, I really recommend you to use Discord instead of Zoom. So Discord is known to be a famous platform for streaming online games, right? But I use it to create a server for my own group like this. I often study in voice channels with my friends. We could stream multiple screens at one time, go through letter notes together, and use the text channels as whiteboards to cut and paste important stuff to review later. I really hope this video has been helpful to you. Do check out my blog, Race Journals, and other videos for more inspiration and study help. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.